Welcome to episode number, I don't even know what, Jeff. This is North Carolina Wine TV. I, I think this is episode seven, Lucky Seven. Lucky Seven, and we have a special treat. I am your co-host, Kit Bodner. And I'm your other co-host, Jeff Cohen, and we are here, we're trying a wine. There is a big storm coming, but we really wanted to shoot this wine outside. We're out in the woods, so it, it's quite possible you could finish this episode, and by the end of this episode, we'd be soaked. That's that's true, because once the camera rolls, we just go. The episode is on. There, <laughs> there's right. no cutting this short. There's no editing stuff together. We're right at you. But am I, Jeff. Am I standing in a hole? I think I am. You kind of are standing in a hole. What if I okay. did this? <laughs> Jeff's kind okay. of standing in a hole. He's not that much shorter than me, I promise. Right. I am a little uh, bit, but not that much. But Okay, guys. So... One more thing, Jeff. Okay. Contact us. It's either down here or down, or here. down there. We still I have forget. a look. I forget. We still, we still have, have a look. look. Yeah. Email contact at NorthCarolinaWine.tv. Hit us up on Twitter at Face NC Wine TV. That's right. And Facebook. We have a Facebook fan page. And we have a few fans. We'd love some more. Fan us up. We, we would make us really happy. And, you know, guess what? Way down there, we'd like some comments. But right along here and right along here... There are shiny buttons that do really neat stuff. Share stuff, put our videos on your blog, stuff, whatever. I mean, basically, we hope you enjoy the show, and we're really enjoying trying all the wines in North Carolina, because that is the goal for this program. We want to try every single freaking wine made in North Carolina. That's right, and with 80 wineries, that's a lot of shows, and we're going to get right to this one now, because I'm feeling a few raindrops. All right, guys, we today are trying the Dupuin <laughs> Vineyards Scuppernog. This actually is, literally, the granddaddy of North Carolina wine. Tell us, Kip, I think you have a fun fact this episode about Duplin Wine. Uh, Duplin Winery, which one? I don't know what fun <laughs> fact he's talking about. He could tell me. It isn't the Scuppernong vine? Yes, there's a mother vine in North Carolina yes. over on the coast that's hundreds and hundreds of years old. The oldest wine, the oldest uh, grapevine in, in North America. And Scuppernog is a muscadine wine. Muscadine grapes normally grow on the far eastern part of North Carolina right. in the sandy coastal soil. Right, and, and it is one of the major types of grapes growing in North Carolina. So, so we're going to be trying a lot of wines made from these grapes, and we don't really think we're going to like them, but we're going to help describe them to you because you might like sweet wine, and this might be good for you. I'll be honest with you. This wine here <laughs> scares the bejesus out of me. I am, like, terrified on the inside right now. When when I picked it up on the shelf at Total Wine for six ninety seven, six ninety seven, six ninety seven dollars 97 Retail Kip, price? Kip said, you're going all the way there. And I said, I am. We're going right to it. And that was a raindrop on my head. It's going to happen. Okay, guys. <laughs> We've got to keep the show going. We're going to pour the Scuppernog, and we're going to tell more horror stories of the Scuppernog. So, muscadine wine, sweet wine. Uh, I'm a traditional, I'm kind of a wine snob. I drink, you know, traditional uh -huh. uh, French varietals of wine, so... I am standing at home. How about I stand like this? That, that works, that works. <laughs> I'll stand so up So, what if we, uh... What if we look at the packaging? We forgot to look at the packaging okay. because of the rain. Pretty basic packaging. Came with a fake cork. Uh -huh. I mean, stripped down green glass bottle with a basic little lighthouse bird but it, but label. But it has a North Carolina lighthouse. That that actually is the pattern of the Hatteras lighthouse. It's not the Hatteras lighthouse itself. It's very folksy. Right. Very kind of interesting. But has you a, know, has a bird on it, which to me says this is probably a good tourist wine. They probably sell a lot of this at the beach. Yes. This this to me screams. I'm laying on the beach in the Outer Banks, and I want a chilled sweet wine. This wine is recommended to be served chilled. I'll read you the little label on the back. Scuppernog is a late harvest muscadine wine made from carefully picked and gently pressed grapes. Uh, and they basically position this as the southern. This is the wine of the south. Plantation owners used to drink Scuppernog. So that's what we're looking at today. So you gently poured it, and I'm going to carefully drink it. <laughs> I don't even know that I can carefully drink it. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we, we have, to smell. Smell. We have I know. to smell. We have to smell because that's where the taste of wine comes from, the smell. And what this smells like, wow. <laughs> what this smells like, if you were ever a kid, and you, you, there were grape vines near your house where you grew mm -hmm. up, Concord grapes, you know, the, the really dark purple skin grapes that taste really good, but you don't like eat them because they have big seeds in the middle, this is exactly what this smells like, is 
It smells like grapes, for yeah. lack of a better term. Smells like grapes. Very, very sweet grapes. I mean, it, it feels like, it smells like grapes with like a pound of sugar on top. Okay. So let's see. Let's try it. Wow. I, I think the word is wow. <laughs> wow. I, I, I think we have to try it again, <laughs> Jeff. Well, I I, th I think every time we don't <laughs> give a review, we have to try it again. That's the rule. And and I I think we may be very challenged, even Kip, to apply wine terms to this beverage in my glass. <laughs> Calling it wine may be generous. I don't know. Wow. But, it's not that bad. Well, it's not and, that bad. Um, I've had worse muscadine wines. I'll tell and, you that right now. And in fact, on second sip, mm -hmm. if you like muscadines, there is a very good, solid flavor of muscadines yeah. underneath the sweetness. Yeah, it's very sweet. Uh, very sweet. Syrupy. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, if you like really sweet wines, this, I mean, this is your ticket. Right. I mean, there's no overlying complexities. This is, this is very simple. This is sugar, muscadine, flavor and I, I don't even know how to describe muscadine flavor it's kind of like alcoholic welch's <laughs> grape juice out I, I don't know well but there there's there's like an earthiness to the muscadine there, there is there is yeah. it's like you know it's kind of the ta taste if you opened your mouth walking down through the woods you know there's kind of like a chlorophyll woodsy kind of taste to all the sugar it's like you put a couple of leaves from an oak tree mash them up with some sugar poured some water in chugged it down the gullet There's, and it's slightly artificial. That's what's really yeah. kicking me. If the artificialness wasn't there, it's pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. It's it scared the bejesus out of me, and it's better. <laughs> it's better than I thought. Right. It it, it is better than I thought. But, I, but there will be other sweet North Carolina wines. Lots. <laughs> in your future. Yeah. There's <laughs> that's probably half the wine we're drinking on the show is sweet muscadine wine. So that's right. we'll be giving you lot lots more review and tell, telling you what's good or what's bad. I'm gonna say this is pretty fair. For, for seven dollars, if if sweet wine is your cup of tea, I don't know that you're going to go wrong. It's not my favorite. I won't ever buy this bottle of wine ever again. In my entire life. It's true. Um, Kip, you didn't buy this bottle of wine this time. I think I bought this one. It's true. <laughs> never mind. Then I will never <laughs> ever buy this bottle of wine ever in my life. But in all seriousness to the folks at Dupin Winery, I think it's a good muscadine wine. It's just muscadine wine is not my ticket. I right. hope if it's yours. Go try it out. This is a widely available wine in North mm -hmm. Carolina. If you're anywhere in North Carolina, this is a pretty easy bottle of wine. Right. And if you do like this wine or like muscadine wine a lot, tell us. Educate us. Tell us what you like about it. Tell us what you what we need to be looking for, what we're missing when we try the muscadine wine. And recommend something else for us down in those comments. Please, tell us what who, who makes the best muscadine wine in North Carolina. Tell us. Comments this episode. Jeff, I, I think we've we've run the scuppernall gambit and we've won. And we still, the rain has not come. It'll that's, be here shortly. That's what I said. We've won. It, that's the right. wine didn't suck, and we're dry. That that's is right. a victory. So, guys, until the next episode, here's to the Old North State.